Hey everyone, welcome to another figure fantasy video. So earlier when we were discussing the update, I mentioned that this girl is Esther, and uh, let's see if um, her review is accurate and uh, will I able to convince you guys to pull for her, okay? Because she is going to be using fully wishes. So without further ado, here is her review. Okay, guys, so this, um, the link for this page is um, going to be available in the description of this video. And this comes from the review for the Japanese version of Figure Fantasy, which is Figure Story. So let's move on to Izumi's evaluation and performance. Let's go to her rating. Her rating is quite high, guys. It's a 9.4 out of 10 so she's going to be very good almost in every area it's shaded pve pvp uh big three i don't know what the rest is but it's almost perfect so let's uh move on to her skills uh okay skills Attack skill for Izumi is um, range is 1. Attack speed is... This is going to be average. Effect priority given to the front enemy in the same horizontal row as you and attack. So take note, she is going to be a defender. And uh, level up effect damage depends on the durability of your shield. And number 3 is increases normal attack by 25%. Extreme speed technique skill or ultimate so initial energy is 70 which is kind of high so energy recovery is going to be six per second effect is in heavy equipment form by its ultimate it attacks all enemies in the same horizontal row as the target so uh, all if there are three two or three enemies in the same row she's gonna attack them all and converts um, 30% with the current HP into a shield in defender form. Attack the target four times and get a shield. So that is how effective is her ultimate going to be. So attacks through and through um, on the same row plus gets a shield. So she's kind of a attacking version of Megan. So we'll see how, how, how good her shield is. Level of effect. In the heavy equipment form, which is her defender form, get 30 energy to begin the battle. Earn 30 energy when transitioning to avant-garde form. I assume that she comes in a different form. So when in the when the mystery is activated, the heavy equipment form a shield is given to allies who are in the same horizontal row as themselves. So she also gives a shield to the to two figures who are at the back of her and in avant uh, she she has two forms by the way so defender and also vanguard in avant guard form when the mysterious spirit occurs an additional shield is acquired so she has two forms take note um she has vanguard and she has defender form and she gives a shield to two allies at the back of her this is level three of her ultimate boom Nice. Energy and shield at the back and shield for herself. So that is her ultimate. Again, I think it's a, it's kind of a bit OP when, when you come to think of it. So energy, shield to the front, shield acquired when attacking through enemies to the front, uh, gets energy when transitioning to, to Vanguard, then also gets a shield either way when she's in defender and and um, vanguard form and gives shield to allies in the same horizontal row as her as Izumi. again um this is crazy 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 ultimate okay going to her passive skill in the heavy duty form or the defender form the critical rate increases by five percent every second while the shield is present. It can be duplicated up to nine times. So nine times five, that's 45% increase in crit. While this effect reaches the upper limit, it shifts to the avant-garde form. 
So sh um, shifts to Vanguard. While there is no shield heals, HP every second and cancels one effect of increasing the critical rate. So while she's increasing her crit, she will eventually transform into Vanguard form. Okay, so increasing the crit rate uh, in avant in Vanguard form, a heavy attack is activated every time the spirit is generated four times. So this is where she transforms from defender to Vanguard form while her crit rate increases. Level up effect for her passive in her defender form. Energy recover recovery speed increases by two while there is no shield in Vanguard form. A heavy hit knocks enemies knocks back the enemy for two seconds damage depends on the durability of the shield and while well, level up three for passive in defenders in in defender form when there is no shield hp that recovers in, increases by 40 seconds when shifting to the avant-garde form the attack speed increases by 100 percent so depending on the situations is in what whichever triggers whatever um, she turns into a vanguard, then a defender. So that is how I understand this. We're going to see her skills. It wasn't previewed previously, you know, previous today. So I'm going to review her skills again and try her out once she comes out. Exclusive skill when in heavy equipment. When attacked, there is a chance to reduce the damage received by 50%. In avant-garde form or vanguard form, the recovery rate increased by 15% and HP is restored after avoidance or after dodging. Level up effect increases your attack by 5% and your critical rate by 10 regardless of what form. In defender form, there is a 35% chance to reduce the damage taken when attacked by 50%. In avant-garde form, the evasion rate increases by 20% and HP is restored after evasion. So that is the gist of her skills very very versatile shifting from defender to avant-garde shields shields for her um damage all through um the same row with all the enemies and shields at the back with all the allies behind her and increase in energy or this is going to be good just her kit is going to be good so we're going to be looking at uh recommended uh, recommended uh, characters to pair her with so obviously the ones that you'll be pairing her with are the ones with shield and uh, um, what they call this uh shared health and hp so for shield you have Aoi, Okada, and Zuliang. Zuliang probably a good pairing for her, since um, he prevents um, one-time uh, death from lethal damage. Um, Aoi could be good. Okada, Ayani Okada could be good, but depends. Yeah, I think she could be good because um, in some Galatea teams you'll be needing two defenders anyway so this could be a good pairing for um ayani okada and the rest is also good because again but priority is going to be pairing with aoi Oka uh, ayani and zuki liang okay um mako and uh, and erixia kind of secondary pairing so for her kit i would suggest i think attack Probably crit rate to increase her crit rate. He, she also, she really also has a good crit rate. But I think the increased percentage would be better for her. You could actually pair attack and uh, crit rate with her kit, or you could increase her critical damage because she already has crit rate. Okay, so for the badges, um, I won't go through you know the review for all of her kit. I'll have a separate build uh, guide for her in another video once she drops off after a summon for her so basically that's it i think her kit is very op um for a defender she can really really stand alone i think she is a mix of a lot of figures at this point and she has um two skins available this is the other one 
this is the fishing skin which i like better than this one so hopefully we get the decoy operation version of her skin and that is it guys so um I'm, I'm, it really depends upon you guys on what your priority is. If you're going to save your your fully wish, the star ones, uh, for another banner, then be my guest. But this one is, I, can, I think, a bit interesting. If you want to save up your fully wish, be my guest. But this is hard to pass up at this point. I, it, I would highly suggest you get her, especially if you are looking to build a team with more defenders especially if you want to build a team with three defenders um and you're not using for example if i don't want to use crusos and i if i want to use megan ayani and izumi then i think i should get her but yeah i think she's going to be a good you know the three of them are, are going to be a good you know synergy ayane then you have Izumi and Megan. Three of them would be a good wall wall as a team. Then you have a lot of firepower at the back. Probably two, um, two militarists. Like uh, you could put there uh, Milim and also Zarola. That would be a pretty much impregnable wall. Don't you think? Also you could put um, uh, one healer. Probably Zephyr and Zarola or Zephyr and Milim in that team that would be pretty much very impregnable so again guys those are my thoughts for izumi i hopefully i have helped you in you know making a decision whether you're, if you're going to pull for her or not but for me i highly recommend that you get her um she's s ranked in in japan and based on her kit it's kind of op at this point so anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.